Danny, let me just ask you a question. A lot of players suck and like should be good and they were so hyped up, but are just plain out trash, like capital T-R-A-S-H, trash. Wow. So today's question is who had the biggest fall off in sports history? Go. Well, I think that if, you're, if we're just talking about prospects that became bad, I think, you know, it's football season. I think I'm only going to talk football for now. I think I'm going to go with Johnny Manziel. I feel like this guy was supposed to be, you know, the greatest. And, you know, he got into some bad activities. If you saw the Netflix documentary about him, you know what's going on. Johnny sucked. It was never good. <laughs> Trash. Um, yeah. Tim Tebow also. Had all that hype. Wasn't Trash. good. Other highs been, like... You can say Marcus Mariota. I know we were talking about it. I still think Mariota's... RG3, Andrew Luck, they just didn't pan. Nah, like, nah, they were good, they but they just got hurt. RG3 fell off. Yeah. Andrew Luck was good. He didn't really yeah. fall off. He just retired too early. I got a good fall off for baseball. Let's Pirates legend Gregory Polanco. Polanco. He's not yeah. playing in Japan. Fell Played off. In Tokyo. Yeah, who fell off? Who fell off? Mike Trout. Really? He's not doing anything anymore, bro. Because he's hurt. You think Mike Trout sucks? That sucks for him. Yeah. Wow. He doesn't do anything. That's he doesn't do anything. Take. That's a very hard Noah Syndergaard fell off. Yeah, that's a good example. Madison um, Baumgartner fell off. Oh, yeah. He's not even in the league what anymore. What happened to Jake Arrieta? Yeah, he stinks. He fell off. I think he's not in the league anymore either. Marlon Bird. Marlon. <laughs> Justin Morneau. Travis Snyder. <laughs> Just naming random pirates now. Now we're there. Pedro Florimon. Pedro Alvarez. He fell off. Neil Walker. He fell off. <laughs> he fell off the face of the earth. Antonio Brown fell off. Oh, Le'Veon Bell fell off. Yeah. Mason Rudolph fell off. I forgot his Is he head. ever on? Huh? Is Mason Rudolph ever on? Did he, what sort of fall off of you were never on? <laughs> Mitchell Trubisky. Yeah, he fell off. He did fall he off. He fell off. Fell Sean off. Watson fell off. He did fall off. <laughs> Big Ben. <laughs> Big Ben never fell off. Big Ben was bad last year, I will say. Couple times he was went to the bad. playoffs. Yeah, playoffs fell off. Play. The Patriots fell off. Derek Watt, he just does nothing. Fell off. He's the worst Watt brother, but he still can play football. Jalen Ramsey, I feel like fell off. Jamal Adams fell off. Hey Maddie, who fell off? Justin Verlander. Justin Verlander. I know he just pitched in the ALCS, but he fell off. Fell off. Anyone else you think? Give we'll, it a minute. We'll get back to Maddie. We'll get back to Maddie on that one. Danny, who well, else fell off? There's some other things that fell off. You know what I feel like fell off? Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Ooh. I feel like that used to be so good as a kid, and now it's like... Yeah, it's right. I agree. It's all I right. Think... Commercials, I feel like, fell off. Oh, have you commercials seen that? Commercials used to be so funny. And have now you seen that like... stupid commercial with the ladies singing? The Which Jardians one? commercial? Yeah. It's like a commercial shoot within a commercial. It sucks. Oh, I scream at the oh, TV. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, my, yeah, Michael Vick fell, fell off. off. Um, Eric, who, who fell off? Oh, uh, Odell. Odell Beckham Jr. I agree Odell with that one. Fell off. He made one catch, and then he disappeared. It was never as good as it was made out to be. Yeah, he made one good Odell catch. Odell fell off. What was fell off? I like the pick of cinnamon. Teams. teams that fell off. I Patriots. Agree. Page, oh, yeah, that's the easy one. They stink. They the Carson's even shaking ever. his head up there. They fell off. He Who? said the Steelers? Oh, they did not fall off. We're always average. We fell off. Uh, I don't think we fell off. We needed that. You know who fell off? They told Drake he fell off. He needed it. You know who's going to stink? The Sixers. Sorry, Maddie. Yep. I mean, I'll, I'll get behind that. I don't that. think they're going to be that good. Darnell Mooney. We have about a minute left off. of this. Quick fall off. Darren Waller. Let's start listing things that suck now that were good. Go. Doesn't have to be sports. Things that suck that are good. Um... Dining hall. Oh, the dining hall was good for the first week. You know what? Fell off. I'll say it. Marvel movies. Marvel movies fell off. Yeah. Uh, dining hall is IUP food in general. Yeah, but it was good for the Aramark, first week I was up here. It was fire. Aramark dining. Being alive. Huh? Being alive. Oh, gosh. That's sad. What else fell off? I don't know. Who else fell off? IP football team. Oh. That's crazy. Uh-oh. Hopefully no one's watching that one. You know who? You know who? <laughs> Oh. Hey, you speak nothing but facts, Maddie. Mm -hmm. Joel Embiid fell off. 
But he Anthony went, Davis kay. fell off. Well, Eric and Matt, if you want to come out in front of the camera, just sit on the couch so we can say so they can see who was just talking. I don't think they heard us. I mean, I had to doubt the mics. Yeah. Those mics picked kay. up our voices. That was like five minutes of us just saying see who you guys. what Thanks stinks for, now. Thanks, thanks for, for watching this bit. That was fun. Bye. Basically, everything fell off. Yeah, everything sucks. Happy fall. Hello, trainee. You might be wondering why you're here, back in the training confines at the Archive. Records indicate you were selected at random for mandatory bonus duties here at the Archive. This is due to the seasonal changes happening naturally. We are approaching the fall season, which means the various flora outside will soon begin shedding their foliage, and the weather will grow cold. You bet that this absolutely impacts the anomalies. According to a study done by researcher Detweiler of unit number 749021, it raises the threat of a civilian being targeted by a hostile wilderness-based anomaly by up to 46.78%. The best way to keep yourself safe during this season, the fall season, is to simply keep your wits about you. Anything that seems unnatural, report to management at once. Here are some simple tips that you can use to judge whether the creature you hear rustling in those leaves is anomalous in nature. Never approach it. Always make sure you call loudly to it and signal that you're in distress. If it asks you for help, dial emergency services. Then begin approaching the distress. If you are unsure of where the sound is coming from, remain vigilant. Simply begin stating where you are and what is in front of you, nothing in The sounds you hear are not danger. Disarm yourself immediately. You are not in danger. Run to the nearest wooded area alone. Do not disclose to anyone where you are going. Go. Remember these simple tips, Agent, and you will be safe and sound in this fall season. Return to your resting chambers now and sleep safe.
a bowl of cherries. Don't be so serious. Life's too mysterious. You work, you save, you worry. Hello, everyone. My name is Nick, and we've officially reached that time of year. The leaves are changing. The holiday season is starting, and as things start to cool down and this year comes to a close, I'd like to talk to you about fall. But not just any fall, no. I want to talk to you about every fall. Fall is a word with many meanings. It can mean the titular season we find ourselves in right now. It can mean tripping over your own feet and quickly finding yourself plummeting towards the ground. It can probably mean other things that I was just way too lazy to research today. Either way, there are plenty of amazing falls out there that we get to talk about. So here's my list of the best falls of all time. Starting off our list, we have the season fall. It truly is a classic with beautiful scenery, family holidays, and the start of the football season. What American doesn't like fall? Sure, it can get a little chilly outside, but once you get all bundled up in a good hoodie or jacket, the season of fall just starts to hit different. Next up, we have Niagara Falls, one of the best tourist attractions out there. Niagara Falls is a beautiful landscape that you can't find anywhere else. We do have to share it with Canada, but that's a price that I'm willing to pay. Also, honorable mentions to Bobby Leach, the man who went over Niagara Falls in a steel barrel. Bobby broke both kneecaps and his jaw during the stunt, but he did survive, making him one of the best fallers of all time. However, he did later trip on an orange peel, injured his leg, and died due to complications with gangrene, which is a bit of a loser way to go out. Nice going, Bobby. Next, we have one time that I fell during a studio tour for Witticism. Of the TV studio. Fun fact, while I did do it for the bit, I ended up falling way harder than I meant to. Honestly though, falling for the bit is always worth it 100% of the time. Honorable mention to every other time I've fallen, both on and off the set, I should not be trusted going anywhere because I will find a reason to fall and eat it just about anywhere I go. After that, we have the fall of Rome. Now, recently there's been a trend going around in which girls ask their guy friends or boyfriends how often they think about the Roman Empire. And I thought it was a little weird how often some of these guys think about it. But when I ended up making this list, the fall of Rome was the second thing that I wrote down. So I guess it does make sense. I think about it more often than I even think. So rip the Roman Empire, y'all were real ones. Next up is the meme of Kratos from God of War falling to the song Dream On by Aerosmith. This one's just really funny to me. I have no further explanation. I will not elaborate further. It's just a good bit. And finally, my personal favorite fall of all time is when Gibby from iCarly falls from the ceiling. I forgot Gibby. Oh yeah. Gibby! Gibby! Uh, this has to be a top tier fall since the day it happened, okay? Everything about the scene feels just so real, and that's partially because it was. While there aren't any super credible sources online, it seems that the stunt double for Gibby was not given nearly enough protective equipment, was dropped without him being completely ready, and he ended up breaking at least some, if not all, of his ribs during that fall. Yet, the episode still aired. And if that isn't commitment to the bit, I don't know what is. And commitment to the bit is what I am all about. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my top falls of all time. If there are any falls that I missed, feel free to let me know. And if you disagree with my top falls, just know 
the next thing that's going to fall is going to be you when I get my hands on you. Thanks for watching. Carson, I've had enough. I've had enough of video games, and I've had enough of the stupid thing known as fall damage. I can't do it anymore. And I know Donnie's the same way in there. Fall damage sucks. I can't deal with it. I'm trying to play Fortnite Battle Royale on my Xbox. Donnie, I can't. I can't do fall damage. I'm playing Fortnite Battle Royale on my Xbox Series S, by the way. And I'm, I'm perfectly fine. I haven't played it in years. Me and my buddy are playing. And out of nowhere, I shoot this guy sky base down and <laughs> he doesn't die. But whenever I do it, I die. I don't think it's fair. I think it's just a skill issue. I don't want to hear that skill issue. Station manager doesn't know Fortnite. I know Fortnite and I haven't even played it for years. Fall damage stinks. Now let me keep talking about this. And Donnie, let me add this too. Imagine if Overwatch had fall damage. I mean, I played Minecraft that had fall damage. See, I don't play Minecraft that much. I'm sorry for that. But like, imagine. If Overwatch had fall damage, that would be HE double hockey sticks. I mean, I, I mean, think I can say that on TV. I mean, if, I mean, TF2 has fall damage and like, I, I mean, both games have ragdoll physics. So honestly, it'd be fine. I can't. You know what belongs in the trash? Fall damage. Fall, fall, fall damage. Keyword, fall. F-A-L-L. -L. Fall. Fall damage. Have a good day. I'll knock on the door when I need it again. I can't do it anymore. Like, fall damage, fall damage, fall damage. Fall, 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 fall. Fall damage. Can't even get in the room because fall damage. Anytime I fall down, I get fall damage. You get a bump, you get a bruise, you get everything. But there's fall damage in here. Look at that. Fall damage. Fall damage. See, look. Fall. Fall damage. Ah! The, not, it took nine damage just from a stupid fall. Turn on the lane here. If I just sit down, fall damage. That hurt. Fall damage. Hey, you almost took fall damage. Let me put this back up so I can heal it. Nope. Fall damage again. Still, still, need, to give, still need to give him health. Fall damage, man. I hate it, man. Can't do this. You got you got people freaking about about AI now. Like fall damage. <laughs> fall damage. Fall damage. F A L L. Happy fall. Happy what do you not specifically like about fall damage? It's just a, it's not fair, man. Anytime that I shoot someone down in a video game, okay? Now hear me out here. Why don't they get as much fall damage as when I fall down? I think it's rigged. I think it is rigged. And I think you're the problem. You're one of those people believing in it. What exactly game were you playing? I said Fortnite Battle Royale for my Xbox Series S. <laughs> Next gen. I haven't played it in years. First thing, I die. Because you know why? I fell off a tower. Didn't Falling. the tower explode? Nope, I just fell down. That sounds like a skill issue. I got bumped. That sounds like a skill oh, issue. Oh, I got bumped. Bumped? I got bumped by the other team. Don't get bumped. See, look, fall damage. I'll explain it even more in these holy Bibles of the post. These two, fall damage. <laughs> these guys, I don't know who they are. Nightmare Alley, fall damage. King Kong, Godzilla, <laughs> pretty good movie, by the way. Watch this, fall damage. Whatever these are, Emmys, Oscars, this lion, see this lion right here? If you want to look at him, I want to zoom in on the lion, dude. I think that's the Lion King, I think. Yeah, the Lion King. Actually, no, you like that stupid fork. <coughs> Forky or whatever his name is. Watch this. Fall damage. Let me pick this Oh, that hurt. Now my OCD's on kicking. I got a three point back in order. They have fall damage. See, like, every time they hit the thing like this, Fall damage. Fall damage. See this? Big hit. Big hit Bible. Fall damage. Witticism worldwide. Fall damage. Animation Nation. Fall damage. Hey, 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 that's the press play one. Don't don't, don't touch that. Press put play. it put it back on the Fall damage. 
pick those back up. Thank you. I'm a kind person. Thank you. I know I hate fall damage. Oh, uh, sorry. Wait, hold on. Hey. <coughs> hey. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What? That was, un that was uncalled for. I'm sorry. Here, let me put it back on. Hey. Hey. You know what? <coughs> fall damage. Ugh. You know what? I think uh, there's a cliff over there. I think, uh, you know what you should do? Fall down. Well, fall is coming, and I guess I should talk about it. Now, I'm sure you've heard people talking about all the things they like about fall, all the great things you've heard about the season, the good food, the cool weather, the pretty colors, the leaves turn, all that stuff. But we never talk about all the ways that fall can kind of suck sometimes. So I thought I'd be the autumnal Scrooge and list all the ways that fall isn't as great as everyone's saying. First of all, fall is cold. Like, it can get really cold. Everyone talks about wearing flannel and sweaters, and those things are nice, but I'm not a fan of one day being pleasantly cool and the next suddenly having snow coming down like we're in the dead of winter. Make up your mind, fall. At least winter is consistently cold. I can't wear a nice flannel when the wind is making me feel like my fingers are gonna freeze off. I shouldn't need three different jackets to make it through the week without freezing or boiling. I'm not asking for things to get warmer, I'm just looking for a little consistency. Look at summer. It might be unbearably hot, but at least it's just hot. Why does fall feel like it needs to be both summer and winter? It just doesn't make any sense. Also, everyone talks about how pretty the trees get. Nobody seems to mention that all the other plants are still alive, at least for a while. I've got seasonal allergies, man. I'm trying to enjoy the pretty colors without my nose running like Usain Bolt and my eyes itching like there's no tomorrow. I'm tired of every single plant taking all the pollen they have left and giving us one last little <laughs> out into the air just to make people like me suffer. The flowers aren't even flowering at this point. What do you even have to be giving out all that pollen for? The scenery is nice to look at, but man, can it be unpleasant to be in. Also, by the time the rest of the plants are done making me need to blow my nose like a train whistle, all the leaves have fallen down already, so there's no point. Everyone says they love fall, but they only love the beginning of it. They never love the barren trees and dead grass at the end of November. Crunch the leaves all you want, but soon you won't be able to rest under the shade of a tree until spring, which is ages away. Not to mention that school always starts at the same time fall comes in. Summer vacation is great, and then all of a sudden fall comes around to end it and bring us all this work to do. If fall is so great, then why is fall break always like four days? If fall was so good, then we'd at least get something closer to winter break where we can actually enjoy ourselves, but no, we get a glorified long weekend instead. Winter isn't even nice to go outside in, and we get a longer break for that? Halloween might be fun, but it's obviously not good enough to get us a week off. Instead, we just put our nose to the grindstone and work. If fall was so good, its arrival wouldn't be heralded by back-to-school sales. That's all I'm saying. And another thing, if fall is so great, why is there so little media about it? There's plenty of movies set during and around Halloween, sure, but nobody wants to make anything that's just set around fall, minus a few examples. It's not like fall isn't visually interesting, but everyone seems to be too focused on one holiday right at the beginning to think of, to do anything else with the season. After Halloween, what are you gonna watch? A Charlie Brown Thanksgiving? What are you, five? Let's face it, there's no good Thanksgiving movies. The best things you'll find are movies set during fall, but that's like saying Die Hard is a Christmas movie. You're only technically correct. One more thing. People say the food is great during fall, and well, yeah, it's the harvest season. So much of that food owes its popularity to one thing, cinnamon. Don't believe me? What's the most popular fall-themed flavor? That's right, pumpkin spice. What's pumpkin spice? I'll tell you, it's not pumpkin, it's cinnamon. If pumpkins are so good, then why is the most popular culinary thing we associate with them have absolutely no pumpkin in them? In fact, I'll go as far as to say apple pie is also held up by cinnamon too. Face it, outside of candy corn and its controversial flavor, the main taste of fall is just cinnamon. When people think of fall, they think of cinnamon and dead trees and weather that only comes once a month, and all of it sucks. Okay, maybe I'm going a bit far. 
Fall isn't the worst season. That trophy goes to spring. And Thanksgiving is pretty nice, not to mention that flannels are really comfy. Ooh, and sweater weather. Uh, yeah, fall has its downsides, but maybe I wasn't giving it a fair shake. I mean, I even like cinnamon. Maybe I should stop spending all this time thinking about all the stuff that I don't like and just focus on the good stuff. You know what? I was wrong. Fall is great. And I hope you guys have an excellent fall yourselves.